Hey everyone, last one here, and in case you guys don't know, Amazon just released their big summer update. And with that, they finally added a new trade skill, music. So in today's video, we are going over how that skill works and what is the best way to level it. So let's go! So the music skill works together with a new minigame that allows players to execute music performances solo or in groups up to 5 people to activate new buffs. The minigame works pretty much as one of those rhythm games, where you are presented with a sequence of notes rolling down in a grid and you have to hit the corresponding keys at the correct time in order to get points. When you finish a music, depending on how well you performed, you will get a rating that goes from 1 star to 4 stars, and that rating will define how strong the buff that you get is. So to start a music performance, you just hit F5. That will bring the music UI, where you first select the difficulty you wanna play in. The difficulty does not affect the buff that you get, but it does influence the amount of music experience you gain. The difference between the difficulties is that the harder they get, the narrower the perfect zone is and the more keys you need to be able to press. Novice songs only use the letters A, S, T and the mouse buttons. The skilled ones adds the spacebar and the experts adds the W. Next, you select the song you want to perform. Here you can see the duration as well as how many players it supports. Keep in mind that you don't need a group to execute the group songs, but you will be playing a single instrument. So although it will sound weird, the experience and the buff that you get will be the same. After choosing the song, you select the instrument you want to play. Instruments are a new type of item that can be crafted with furnishing and they have their own dedicated slots. Currently, there are five instruments. Guitar, mandolin, drums, upright bass, and flute. Then the last step is to select the buff that you want. The options available to you will depend on your current music skill level. The options are, at level 2, decidedly dexterous, that increase your gathering speed. At level 5, you can get Territorial Triumph, that increases the territory standing bonus. At level 25, you get All Together Now, that gives extra experience when you are in a group. The level 75 buff, called Song in Your Step, gives you extra carry capacity. At level 100, you unlock Fortune's Favor, that increases your gathering yield. And finally, at level 150, you get Lux Labor, that increases the gathering luck. The duration and strength of the buff will only depend on what star rating you get when you finish the song. After setting all up, just hit play and do your best. At the end of the performance, you will get your star rating, your music XP, your buff, and then you will enter a tipping period, where anyone that is around you can give you a tip in order to receive the buff as well. And that is pretty much how the music system works. So now let's talk about how to level it efficiently. And for that, we will need to go a little deeper on how the music XP works. The first important thing to know is that the maximum music XP that you get from a song is tied with the music difficulty. Novice songs can give a maximum of 100 XP. Skilled songs can give up to 200 XP and the expert songs can give 300. But to get those maximum amounts, you would need to hit every single note in the song as perfect. And to understand what I mean by that, we need to talk about these two vertical lines here. A note hit is considered perfect when you hit the correct key, while the note's central line is inside those two vertical lines. Let's call this the perfect zone. That will give you 100% of that note value. The second best outcome is when you hit the correct key, while the key circle is touching the perfect zone lines. That is considered a great hit and will award you with 70% of that note value. And of course, the worst case scenario is when you either hit the wrong key or don't hit the key in time. That will award you with 0 points. Side note here, when you hit consecutive notes, there is this meter that shows up. Don't get fooled by it. The game does not have any bonus string mechanic. It does not matter if you fill this bar or not. The points you get will only depend on the total number of notes you hit, not by how many you got in a row. Now you are probably wondering how much experience each note gives, right? Well, it depends. First on the difficulty, since harder songs have higher maximum experience they can give. But also, each song and instrument has different number of notes in them. So the ones with less notes will give you more experience per note compared with the ones with more notes. So, in order to find out the best song we can use to level up, I had to go into the PTR and check the duration and count how many notes each song has. 
for each instrument. So yeah, it was a lot of work, but you can have access to the whole table in the description below. And with that information, we can clearly see that the best XP per note song is by far the second flute on the Call of the Ancients, played on the skilled level. That song has only 16 notes for a whopping 12.5 experience per note, and it takes only 39 seconds to complete. But of course, that is expecting you to be able to hit most, ideally all, notes as great or perfect. If that difficulty is too hard for you, you can start by using the exact same song and instrument, but in the novice difficulty that has also a good experience per note value. Now, if you are truly like a pro New World music player and can ensure that you hit every single note on expert mode, the song with the best experience per second would be any instrument on Windsward in expert difficulty. So that's it. If you want to level music as fast as possible, go spam one of those musics. You won't get better experience than that. Just keep in mind that currently, music is by far the hardest skill to level in the game. Just to give you an idea, if you spam Call of the Ancients non-stop every 39 seconds for 2 hours a day, it would take you almost 5 months to get to level 200. So yeah, it's kinda insane right now, and I expect that to change very soon. So keep an eye on the spreadsheet below for updated numbers. As always, thank you so much for watching, if this was useful for you, please consider hitting that like button, and I'll see you all on the next one. Take it easy.